Heathrow's Terminal 5. By March 2008, over £4 billion will have been spent and 20,000 people will have worked on the project. Terminal 5 is needed because um, Heathrow Airport is full, basically. So Heathrow Airport uh, caters for about 65 million passengers per year currently, and uh, it's full. And it, it was actually designed to cater for about 45 million passengers. So it's bursting at the seams, and Terminal 5 will, will actually allow us to increase the capacity of Heathrow to about 90 million passengers a year. Heathrow Terminal 5's main terminal building has been constructed on the site of an old sewage treatment works to the west of the airport. In just seven years, an iconic building designed to handle 30 million passengers per annum with a dramatic free-spanning roof structure has been constructed. This program looks at the engineering issues behind the construction of the building envelope and in particular, the innovative approach to the construction of the roof structure. How do you build a 17,000 tonne structure on the world's busiest airport, surrounded by one of Europe's busiest roads in an area where there is no space to swing a cat. On a project of this scale uh, you have to think about the way it's built um, when you're designing it because otherwise it's impossible or uneconomic to build it. Um, just getting that amount of steel into the air is a, is a piece of engineering in itself. T5A's roof structure encloses a vast footprint of 396 by 176 metres. The plan was to construct the roof in six phases. First, the central arch section of the roof was to be assembled, clad and pre-stressed at ground level. Then, temporary works frames were to be used to position the abutment steel for each phase. Then, the plan was to jack the centre section 30 metres vertically into position and bolt to the abutment steel. <laughs> 